Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video. And today, we have some more My Faction news to talk about. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We are the most consistent, the most dedicated, the most electric My Faction YouTuber, My Faction content creator out here. So if you guys want to stay tuned to all the updates for My Faction, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. I promise you, you will not regret it. And, and we also post a whole bunch of other games as well on the channel too, so... Hey, hit that subscribe button. It's free and you won't regret it. Also, become a member if you guys would like to. All right. So, yesterday we went over the packs that leaked. There's two packs that leaked and we also had a card as well that leaked and we showed it off in yesterday's video with some more dope stuff like super card, the QR codes and stuff. So, if you missed out on yesterday's video, make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. I appreciate all you guys' support on that video. And, um... So yeah, here we are again today with some more My Faction news. And we have a good amount of things to talk about. I don't know, this video shouldn't be too long, but we're going to get it right into it right now. And that's to start off with live events. And um, yeah, we got this Triple H card right here. This Triple H card, submission only match. This this should be, I mean, everybody should go for this. This is, this is easy. When I tell you that this is an easy match to do, this is easy, all right? So everybody, just, just go ahead and get this card. Managers are very important to this game, so I, I, I'm going to just go ahead and knock this out on my PlayStation account. Um, obviously, I'm on my Xbox account, as you guys know, but I'm definitely going to be knocking this, this card out for sure. Definitely going to get them just, be, just in case, because who knows? My team right now, he doesn't fit with my team, but... In the future, who knows, I might need him as my manager. So that's why I'm definitely going to go for this Triple H card right now. So that's really cool. And uh, yeah, we got the Julius Creed, obviously. And then we still got this Shawn Michaels card. And um, yeah, so I'll definitely be going for that one as well. So it's going to be interesting to, to see how that how this card you know plays and performs as well. So yeah, and I'm definitely excited to see... What's going to be next after this? I, I doubt that we're going to get another card after this Shawn Michaels card. I think, like, they give us, like, a pack and then some other filler content, and then they give us a new reward. But I'm definitely interested to see if we're going to get another Ruby or if we're going to... No, we're not going to get an Amethyst. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me, I'm, so, I'm sorry. We're not going to get an Amethyst this soon because we're just now getting Ruby cards from the Apex tier rewards. So it's probably going to take us another month until we get Amethyst cards off of the Apex tier rewards, which sucks. I know it sucks, but I mean, it is what it is, you know, it is what it is at this point. You know, that, that, that's all I can say. But there is some big stuff happening here in my faction that a lot of people have been telling me about. I've been getting tweets. I've been getting comments. Hey, a lot of people are saying. And, and I, I saw it myself on my PlayStation account. I'll put an image right here. Literally, for Faction Wars, they capped it off at 101 wins again. Again, You know? Before that, you were able to get, like, as many wins as you wanted to. If you got 126 wins, it would show on there. But now it's just at 101 wins, which is weird, right? And the thing is, you can still get the briefcase rewards, which is good. My thing is this. A lot of people are saying, yo... Does this mean we're going to get a new ladder, you know, a ladder reward? Yo, what, you know, is the, does this mean that we're going to get the Amethyst token market to up here? <laughs> I don't know how the token market got into all that, but let me tell you guys this, okay? <laughs> I, look, okay, here, here, here's the thing. I hope that this means that next week or soon we are going to be getting the uh you know a new weekly towers i mean not a new weekly towers a new faction wars towers a new proving grounds chapter i hope that that's what that's leading into but i wouldn't be surprised if it's a glitch now here's why i say that since the launch of this game every every single update that has happened in this game there has been a glitch in my faction we had a glitch where you couldn't get your briefcase rewards we had I can't remember the other glitches. We had a couple other glitches, and it was very annoying. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's if it's just another glitch that just so happens to be in the game. But who knows? They could be shaping it up for 
a new ladder reward. And I think it's about time. It's been about two months since we gotten a new reward. And so I think this is the perfect timing, especially since the season's about to end. And um, and here's the, here's the big thing I want to say. Listen to this point right here, guys. So we all remember last month when the season was about to end. I, I got to look at my other video. I think we we're like three days left. Three days left, we got a new Proving Grounds reward, uh, you know, chapter. And we also got the Ruby token market to open up. So, I don't know. I could be pushing it. Maybe around that same time for this season, three days away from the season ending, that's probably when we could get a new Faction Wars ladder and possibly a new chapter for Proving Grounds, which will introduce Amethyst. And maybe we get the Amethyst token market. And then we also get packs next week too. See, it all works out. It all works out for next week. Like it literally all fits perfectly for next week for all that stuff to happen. But the question is, will it even happen? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't even know. It's like, I, I wish, I wish I literally knew what was happening. That way we can really get excited for it. But with 2K, we don't know what's going to happen. 2K isn't like, I'm a Call of Duty fanboy, you guys know this. Call of Duty, they let you know what we're going to get, you know, in the next season. They, they give us a blueprint, they tell us what we're going to get, and then bam, we're excited for it. For for 2K, we're going to, we all we can do is just say, hey, I, I think we're going to get this, I think we're going to get this. And, you know, for the most part, I feel like some of the things that I've been saying have been correct. I mean, I, I have said, don't get your hopes up for the token market, because I don't think we're going to get it this month. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if we got it. I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't get it this month. So I'm just putting two and two together. I just think that if they were to do something for this game mode, I think Faction Wars will be going live this, this you know, later on next week, hopefully, because they're capping it off again and the new season is about to start. So that could be a hint at something for Faction Wars, but I don't know, you know? And it sucks. It really does suck. And the thing, and the thing that gets me, all right, after this, just listen to this point right here, all right? This is what gets me the most mad, all right? I already finished Faction Wars on my PlayStation account. It's this, this game mode has been the exact same since day one of launch. There's nothing new for Faction Wars. Literally, there's nothing new, nothing added. And I feel, and we already know that they're for sure going to add new ladders. They they have to. There's no way. There's no way that they're just going to rely on packs and live events for the rest of the way through for, for my faction. There's no way. Honestly, a part of me would, wouldn't be surprised, but there's just no way that they would do that, right? So I feel like they. It, it's just a matter of when. It's just a matter of when are they going to add a ruby ladder, an amethyst ladder, a diamond ladder, a pink diamond ladder, you know? And the thing that gets me the most annoyed and mad about this mode is the fact that we have pink diamonds now going to be introduced into this game, which is cool. But the thing is, they are dragging us along already just to get barely ruby rewards. We're just now starting to get ruby rewards, guys. And honestly, I feel like the wait for us to get pink diamond cards is going to be literally... To, it's going to be literally so far away that by the time we get pink diamond rewards, we're probably not going to be focused on faction wars anymore. It's probably just going to be from packs and live events. And then bam, 2k24 comes out. I feel like that's how they're going to do it. And that's what sucks. And I feel like they, I just want, if I could just go up to 2k and just tell them like what they should do for this mode, they would make so much money because it just doesn't make sense how, they literally do not do anything with this mode. <laughs> uh, but you know what? That's it. I'm not going to rant too much. I already rant enough. A lot of you guys agree with my rants, but I, I do see some people saying like, oh, come on, man. The game just came out. It did. I mean, come on. If, if you're saying that, you must not know much about this mode because a mode like this should have a lot of content. But hey, it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about all this stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video, man. Let me know if you guys think we're going to get some new rewards. And I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm signing out. Peace.